안녕하세요. 저희 이름은 남입니다. Hi, it's Nami. Welcome back to Nami's Snatch Us Salon. Today we're doing something that we've never done before. I think a year or two ago there were like videos going around, a trend that's going around of following a tutorial vlog reaction videos and yesterday night while I was doing some research on shadow root, shadow melt, balayage type techniques, I came across this video by L Bangs. The video is called DIY from blonde to perfect balayage, easy to follow at home tutorial. Literally, the technique that she uses is so easy and Sylvia teaches how to do this to yourself, like really, really easy. So I decided that it would be good for me to try it because my hair has really grown and my roots are really coming in because it's been like seven months since I've bleached my roots and I wanted to melt this but the semi-permanent that I put to do my color melt shadow root last time faded so I'm gonna try this technique with 6SB silver brown from the Goldwell Top Chic line and I'm going to use a 20 volume developer with it because I want to lighten it right here and then I want to darken this area so that it melts well. My hair right now is like between level 9 and 10. I feel like it'll be the best in between for what's here. So I'm going to try to apply this in between. Hopefully an okay color melt, root melt, root, shadow root, balayage, low light type thing. I have a feeling I'll only need one ounce of this, which is about half the tube, since I'm only going to apply it to my root. It's so yellow. A 16th ounce Olaplex number one. This is to help protect from further damage, rebond the hair bonds while they are broken, since this is a permanent with hydrogen peroxide developer. Now for my blending medium. <laughs> I'm trying to sound smart, but you know, um, I'm just using words that I've heard people say. For my blending medium, I'm going to use Olaplex number two. So this is going to go right at the base of my root and I'm going to just pull it down so that we get a nice gradual fade right in between the mid rootage. And this huge thing has been like such a lifesaver for me, especially because I like to frequently remask my hair when I feel like it's getting dry or damaged with the Olaplex number two. Because this has 2000 milliliters, I think it's like 120, 250 dollars for this big thing. Each time I use it on my hair, it only costs me a few dollars compared to using Olaplex number three that comes in the tiny bottle. And that tiny bottle is like $30. Wow, I already used half of this thing. I'm gonna part my hair down the middle then. Kind of a rough midsection. And I'll just first apply the Olaplex to my rootage. And because I want it to blend, I'm gonna kind of go two thirds way down. I do feel a little bit of coldness going onto my scalp, so I'm glad I'm doing this with Olaplex and I'm not actually going to pull the product into my scalp with permanent dye. This is actually my first time using product on my scalp since I last bleached my hair in October, so it feels kind of weird. It's also the first time I'm using a permanent color like ever. I've only been using bleach and semi-permanence. And it's also the first time that I'm doing a balayage on myself. So I'm a little nervous. Like I feel like this technique from what I watched, it's very foolproof. But still, I feel kind of nervous. Okay, now that I look fabulous. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's start from the middle here. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay. I'm overlapping a little bit. My root, halfway up my root and about equally down there. I hope it comes out okay. And then blend it up into the Olaplex. Hmm, that's a pretty good application. Okay, let's do the back. Blend it into the blonde, blend it into the Olaplex. It's turning gray. Oh my god. 
Now people have said that you can do this in around 15 minutes with her technique, but I feel like because I'm putting my blending medium here, it'll take me a little longer. Okay, I'm gonna bring the back a little lower again, like she said. My technique is kind of different than hers, but I'm following the kind of like same sectioning stuff. I do want my roots to lighten a bit in the middle there. Hopefully it'll lighten to the same-ish color as the base of the blonde. That's what I'm hoping. She did say though that going in diagonals like this will randomize the sections in terms of like variety. And so the balayage would look more natural and distributed instead of like harsh and solid line. So I'm not being too strict with my sections and application here, but I am gonna make sure that I'm kind of following the same routine and making sure that I come a little lower here on the bottom of the section or the back of the head. Now I do believe that Sylvia is a professional hairstylist. She had a lot of great tutorials on her YouTube page. I was looking through them last night. This one I felt like was so appropriate for me right now. Okay, last piece. And I have so much product left. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna bring this a little lower. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I see the balayage-ness. This is what my back looks like. <laughs> Does that look similar? I think I'm gonna tone the rest of my hair as well. My hair is very yellow after removing my hair color. It also removed my toner, so. Toner on my hair might be wet and drippy. Oh, ha ha. I don't have much of my favorite toner left. It's the Goldwell Colorants 10 BS Demi Color Toner. I think I literally have like a quarter of this left. Yeah, not even a quarter. Depleted. There's about half the spoon, so I'm gonna go full spoon with Goldwell Colorants Lotion. This one has no ammonia, so it's for demi colors slash toners. This is definitely not gonna be enough for the rest of my hair, so I'm actually gonna mix a little bit of this Nine Silver Express Toning as well. It's also a demi color from the Goldwell Colorants line. I'm gonna just mix the same ratio. And I'm gonna try to get it into this bottle here. Whoa! I'm just gonna put this on like what ifs, honestly. <gasps> Not like that, no, <gasps> never. Not like that, what ifs, oh my gosh. I didn't close the lid properly. There we go. This is my discomfort face. Just know that I'm feeling slimy. Well, it doesn't look as yellow. Look at the difference. Ooh, yeah. Vanilla No Yellow Shampoo. My favorite purple shampoo. Very even and strong. Oh my gosh. Guys. Wow. Okay. Okay, wow. I'll see you. I'll see you. Wow. Okay. Okay, now before I go and condition my hair, because I actually didn't condition my hair yet. Ooh, there's still a little bit pink left, you see there. I didn't condition my hair yet. Before I go and condition my hair, I'm actually gonna throw in a whole bunch of Olaplex number two, blah da da da, onto my hair to recondition my hair and to repair my hair. I'll probably rinse this out, dry it, and then come show you what the final product looks like. See ya! I'm just about to like further blow dry my hair, but I just need to like pause for a moment Yo Okay, it's not like perfect, but look at that blend into the brown from my black And then it blends into silver and there are like streaks that are lighter and streaks that are darker is not as blotchy as I feared it to be actually there are some areas that you know are a little questionable I feel like this side came out a little lighter though where my block is do you see that that brown right here 
I used a little bit more peroxide when I was removing my red from my hair on this side because I had to remix it. So the mixture wasn't exactly the same as here, but oh my gosh, it looks so good. It definitely looks like a sombre more than a balayage, but let's blow dry. Okay, um, is it weird to say that I kind of feel like Kim Kardashian? <laughs> I feel like the middle part, the straight hair, I just, the sombre and the turtleneck, the shadow root, I don't know, it feels like a Kim K or like a Kylie Jenner moment, like a cheap version because you can still see kind of the line area where my roots actually did end. I feel like I should have done a little bit more variation in terms of the fade area ending for the darker color. But I do see like, like it, it is kind of like a, like a soft balayage. I really like it, but it's a little green. I think the toner that I used at the bottom, it was a blue based toner. The reason why I like the 10 BS is because it's a violet based toner but I think the nine silver that I used is like a blue based one so the blue and the yellow kind of made like a greenish ashish looking color silver thing anyway I really like the root however I feel like a different person I look like a different person it looks good guys anyway that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it please let me know what you thought if you would like me to try any other type of following videos like following a makeup tutorial or following I don't know like dance tutorials maybe for like boy with love or something I could try to learn the dance by uh, dying if you like this video definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up so we can see if you didn't like it go ahead and give it a thumbs down if you would like to see more videos like this definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified when, when new videos drop that's usually the time that we do take to reply to your comments I also post every day on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat, Snapchat. so I'll check you out on those platforms if they are platforms that you use that's it. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.